This year the students are exhibiting at um, the London Design Festival three projects, one relating on the future of retail, one relating to the future of residential and one relating to the future of the lobby space. All three projects are part of an ongoing collaboration with British Land where we partner the students with special expertise within British Land and, the, and that sort of forms an external brief or a form of external engagement and challenge for the students to respond to. So the residential project looks at the way in which residential um, living is, is changing and the domestic space is changing as more and more of us move into a kind of uh, free flexible form of, of, of labour and production our home becomes also a space of work and work becomes a space of home in a way. I mean, particularly for people of my generation housing is something that is like a major issue um, we're not able to rent in the same way that you know, our parents or grandparents were um, we're certainly not able to buy in the same way that they were and so what that means is that you know if we're not able to afford the conventional forms of renting or buying that um, most people are used to it's we look at it in a way of saying okay well we're not going to change the system so how are we going to change the thing which we are renting. We came up with a proposal uh, for a stack series of apartments uh, and the idea is that you build a series of infrastructural walls that are then supported by um, things like toilets and stairways. And toilets and stairways uh, go into other apartments that are, that are next door to, 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 to one another and you have this, this situation where you have uh, walls that run across the plan and then walls that run lengthways across the plan and what that allows you to do is to have uh, stacked apartments and to uh, actually break through certain walls so that you can close doors to your neighbours and open doors to your neighbours and then suddenly uh, the housing unit becomes a single entity that can be opened into many entities. And this idea has a series of social implications, let's say, in that you can expand your private realm into a, a sort of more uh, collective idea of living with, with other people. Uh, so essentially this uh, particular project was designed uh, with uh, artists in mind. So we, we would provide a very basic infrastructure, which is very, very durable, very long lasting and also very generous in its uh, proportions. And the main idea of this would be that you can build these units very cheaply. London in particular has a huge affordable housing crisis and uh, space standards are, uh, are constantly being uh, restricted by, by, by the market. As part of this project, we've developed a system for how you can uh, build housing at a much lower cost and also um, uh, allow these spaces to be uh, generous. Something that we as architects can do is take those standards and readapt them towards something that actually is well designed um, and I would I could quite conceivably see that being being something that um, that changes quite rapidly it's particularly because you know there's there are there are less and less people that are going to be living in standalone homes it's much more likely to be flats and and kind of more um, more shared living. The idea of this particular unit would be that you uh, eliminate all of the things that we normally find with typical houses that are for sale today. So when you come across a house uh, today that's for sale or an, or an apartment or a flat, you buy the flat and uh, the interior has been done up uh, to uh, let's say a very high level. We would be providing just a basic shell. And the basic shell would be incredibly robust and we provide a toilet and a kitchen sink and a shower head. And that's it. Uh, the occupant could then add all of their uh, own things to the flat and customise it in their way. And essentially, we're just giving them a box in which to live in. So, of course, this would be the perfect sort of setup for uh, perhaps a uh, uh, artist studio. They could adapt the space as they, as they wish. Hyper collective form of living where um, shared spaces become the majority of the, the building type, and then actually the private spaces recede into a much smaller component of the building. And this allows a, a very different mode of living and a very flexible mode of living. And so the students have kind of pushed that conversation as far as possible, working with the, the residential team at British Land as a kind of um, sort of uh, counterbalance and argument of how, how residential 
development works and the students propose things that challenge the kind of typical norms of the way that we understand residential work to be. And it's been a really rewarding process because I think um, in some ways it's been surprising for the students the response that they've had from British Land and vice versa that British Land have been incredibly surprised by the ideas that come out of the student. So it's a very fruitful conversation because the students get the opportunity to engage with real life challenges, real life um, kind of briefs and uh, people from that sector that probably have a different perspective on, on life than the students do. And they have the opportunity to challenge that status quo, but then also within a supportive context where British Land are incredibly supportive of the students and they're really engaged by what's happening. So it's been really fruitful and, and exciting for everyone involved and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what next year brings for us.